Hey, welcome to another part of Alan Wake. This is part four and we are at the watermill trying to return to Barry and I don't know, talk about what's happened. Well, we met with the kidnapper at midnight. He showed us that flares keep uh, help keeping the darkness guys away. And yeah, he escaped. We got his gun, but he escaped. So we are going back to Barry. Uh, last time I was mainly just going through the forest and trying to meet with him not much that we learned but we learned that we are the cause of all of this we wrote it all but we basically knew that already so not much but let's just continue we are at the end probably very close to the end of the second chapter here at the water mill that's where we came from and oh shit i should run uh Run, I died. No, I didn't. Man, that, that's... Uh. Alright, I'm fine. Well, I was just talking and this whole thing seemed like it would fall apart and nothing actually happened. It just creeped me out. Without any reason. Oh, okay. Water mill. Nothing scary about that. Oh. There are these things that hurt when I touch them. Okay. Revolver ammo. Oh, I need to reload, of course, because I'm always starting fights with uh, zero ammo in my gun. Uh, don't know much about guns. I wanted to say that. Uh, what What's it called, the place where you put the bullets? Not sure. Uh, I'm trying to think. Can't figure it out. I'm sure I know, but... I, it's escaping me. Kick? Why? Oh! Nice. Pick up the manuscript page. Amazing. Barry in Elderwood. When Barry saw the darkness attack the visitor center, it made him a believer. The men a believer. Had shot, they hadn't been just locals on crank. Somehow the world had changed. Like the channel had been switched without warning. You think you're watching a sitcom, and you're really watching a horror show. When the birds started attacking the cabin, Barry wasn't surprised, just terrified. Alright, so he's just chilling there, being terrified. That's how I understand. Seems like I missed three of the manuscripts. Maybe I'll find them still. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. We'll see. Ah, ha ha ha. Alright, so this is uh, an optional area up here. Great. Good thing I found it. Let's go down. Interesting that I... Oh, no. <laughs> right, I'm alive. What will happen if I just wait? Will my health regenerate all the way to the top or just until the next section? See, it's starting to regenerate now. But yeah, I haven't talked about... My camera being on the middle of the left side, left side, not at the top. I mean, can't really put it on the right side since I'm facing the, you know, to the right. So, oh, it will fill up completely. So yeah, that's what I decided. I mean, it's there for three episodes already, so you probably have noticed. I just don't see it while I'm playing, so it escapes me to talk about it. <laughs> But it's fine. Haven't seen many people doing playthroughs and let's plays having their camera there. So I thought maybe it's just wrong and people won't be interested once they see the camera on the left side. Maybe not. I don't know. Oh, a manuscript page. Another one. Deputies at the logging the site. The site was a mess. The modular office had been pushed off the cliff. Deputy Thornton climbed up from the wreckage, excited, breathing hard from the exertion. Nobody there. It's weird. Don't you think that's weird? Bored, Mulligan let out a mighty snort. Hell, it's always weird, Thornton. Just a question of sorting out what kind of weird it is this time around. Ah, such a cool police officer. Right, the logging site. That's where we met uh, Stucky first time and the... Uh... The house, the yeah, modular office had been pushed off the cliff. Yeah, so they're they're on my on my heels trying to figure out what's going on. 
Where am I supposed to go, though? I don't know. Well, I can't get anywhere from this floor. I can't get anywhere from the upper floor. Can I? I don't think I can. Well, let's check it out once more, though. Just to be sure. Yeah, I can get up. Okay. Good thing I haven't found this. No, I, I would have gone and checked the lower floor anyway, I think. It's just in my nature. What the hell? Alright, and I'm fine. That scared me a bit. I thought something would uh, fall down from there and attack me, but it seems like I'm fine. And it also seems like I haven't missed any manuscript pages, have I? Let's see. Yeah, it just continues here. So these two are more that I need to explore for, and these two are the main ones. It sucks that I can't get this, and I have to play it again on Nightmare if I want to know about those. They're probably not even that interesting. What? It's so quiet, I can hear every little sound. The darkness wears her face. Whose face? Hope not Alice's. Widowmakers. Widowmakers? What's that? Man, I went... I didn't... Uh, I didn't go the right way. Beware the Widowmakers. Oh, he doesn't care. Oh, no. Reload. Right? Reload, reload. I'll just wait a little bit. Just for my stuff to fill up. At least my battery. Okay. He just charged at me. I didn't really care if I was dodging or nothing. He just went ahead and kicked my ass. What's this? Hunting rifle. Great. Maybe I should be using this a little bit more. Hmm. I don't know how to aim with that. Nice. Good thing I tried that. It seemed like there were some steps there. Wake feels the dark the presence. And the wind picked up as I ran through the forest. I felt the dark presence turning its gaze toward me. Then the moonlight was blotted out by dark shadows that raced violently across the ground, moving too swiftly to be natural. Darkness gathered between the trees and melted again to reveal the Taken. No natural path had brought them here. Hmm. <laughs> Such a good narrator. Yeah, I have to give uh, credit to the voice actor again. Voice actors in these Remedy games seem to be top-notch. It's really great. Really makes me uh, appreciate the atmosphere. Immerse myself as much as I can. Sometimes I just forget to talk. Come on, jump up. Alright. This seems like somebody could attack me here. Birdies. Is that up there my cabin? How did I get there so fast? I mean here. It took me forever to get to the lover's speak and now I'm suddenly here. I need to explore to find the last manuscript though. Can't just slack and go for my main objective, that's not how we do things here. Oh shit. Scaring me, huh? Okay, I see him. Uh, that's the big dude, isn't it? Oh, they're too far away. Come on. Why is it taking so long? Oh, nice. What? Why, why did my... Okay. I avoided him. Come on. One more. Nice. So it shakes when he tries to charge. That seems like... That seems like that's the correct answer here. So if it shakes, I need to prepare myself to dodge. That's how I'll... 
how I'll look at that from now on and we'll see if I'm correct. If I die next time, I'm probably not. Huh. I heard something again. Shit. Okay, 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 I'm fine. I mean, I, I don't really have to be scared here. Nothing's happening. I still haven't heard the chainsaw that it was mentioned in a manuscript before. And I feel like I must have missed something at the airplane thingy. I can just open this, great. This seems like a fight area. A tree just fell. Great. It's completely normal. Is, a is it? Oh, that's the chainsaw. Okay, I hear it. Okay, I, I don't think I remember what button... Oh, it was the middle button. Okay, I remember now. Let's just kill these as fast as I can. I don't know if my... I don't know if my uh, ammo will actually... What? That's it? Oh, great. If my ammo will stay here from uh, one chapter to another, because from the first one to the second one, it did not. And maybe it doesn't, since you can probably play any chapter you pick, like replay it, you know? Where am I? Let's reload. Okay. Am I just going back the way I came? I don't remember this. No, that's, that's not possible. I can't. That can't be true. I haven't been here. It just all looks the same in the forest. I feel like I was here. Ah, I wasn't. That wouldn't make any sense. We fell down the cliff once I punched him. Oh yeah, Alan has a Ellen is pretty aggressive. I mean, considering the situation, I can understand that, but... But he jump, jumped at the kidnapper and punched him in the face, even though he had a gun. Even though everything was against him, they fell down. He was lucky, so he won that, since uh, the gun fell closer to him, but still, that was so reckless. Okay. Make it through the woods. Somebody's calling me. Barry? Ow! The porch is covered with birds. They've got all Hitchcock on me. <laughs> Stay out of sight. I'm on my way. Don't open the door. What am I crazy? Stay hidden. I'll be there soon. Just make sure you keep the lights on. Okay, so he's in trouble. They went all Hitchcock on me. I wouldn't have understood that, probably. If I didn't watch a few years back, just randomly it was on TV and I watched the Birds horror movie by Hitchcock. That was so funny. So weird. Such a weird concept. I mean, there's a lot of people that are scared of birds, I feel like, but still. It's so funny. I still had to reach Barry at the cabin, but at least I was out of the woods. Oh, yeah. Just a funny concept that you make a horror movie about birds killing people. It wasn't even dark or anything, it was just birds killing people. <laughs> With their beaks and whatnot. I mean, they can be spooky. Since they're, they fly, it's hard to dodge them. Oh, no parking anytime. Return to Barry. Does that mean I'm supposed to take this I have car? To get the car from the lock garage. It would get me back to oh, yeah. faster. And the headlights were a welcome bonus. Yeah. Will there be a passage of the story where I drive the car and shoot around all the darkness zombies? Maybe. But I want to find the manuscripts first. I'm missing two. There's one. Yeah, this is the main one, and I'm missing one that I should just look around to find. Nightingale fires at Wake. The FBI agent's command froze me in place. I considered surrender. It was all falling apart anyway. I could give in, let someone else deal with it. But it felt all wrong. 
cold instinct, his posture, the way he held the gun. He was no friend. Shots ringing in my ears, I leaped for the hole in the fence and stumbled into the darkness beyond. Okay, so I won't be getting the car, and I'll be running away from Nightingale. Spoilers again. Shit. Oh, I don't like going to the toilets. That seems scary. Find the gar garage keys. I had to find the key to the garage. Yeah, I know, but I have to find the manuscript as well, and I don't know where it is. If I missed it, if I should go back, or if... Oh, oh a thermos. I missed this. Somehow. Well, let's look around first here, but I'm not going to pick up the, the keys. Key yeah, I know, I know. But I'm not going to pick them up until I find the other page. What's that sound? Checkpoint reached. The garage key had to be somewhere nearby. Yeah, I see them. If I pick them up, the TV will probably start. So I'm just going to walk around a little bit. Nothing scary. Is somebody there? Can't check it. Well, let's check the woman's toilets as, tw as well. Oh, this is darker. And they have no toilets. <laughs> What's this? Did they remove them? What the hell is this? There's nothing here. The game's so quiet as well right now. Can I go out? No. Should I maybe take the garage, garage keys and just move on and I'll find the last page somewhere later? I don't know. Is it down here maybe? Next to the car? I don't think so. Well, you know what? I'm not just going to blindly go back again and just look through all the places I was at, so I'm just going to continue. I mean, there might be something interesting, but I hope not, like, something that would change my understanding of the story completely. Alan. A story is not a machine that does what you tell it. A story is a beast with a life of its own. You can create it, shape it, but as the story grows, it starts wanting things of its own. Change one thing and you set off a chain reaction of events that spreads through the whole thing. The characters have to be true to themselves. The events need to follow a logic that fits the story. A single flaw and the magic is gone. The story dies. Alice dies. Oh, really? Is that how it works? Oh, shit. Okay, that scared me. But we're fine. So, will I fight? So, he was there. He was locked there, just chilling, waiting to attack me. I'm just going to run. Nobody attack me. Fine, we're here. Unlock. Please, manuscript, be here. Be here behind the car or something. Enter the vehicle. Shit. I really want to go and find it now. Return to Barry. Okay, you know what? I'll... I bet it's later then and I haven't missed it. I feel like I, wa like I looked everywhere. Let's just go. Oh, I can actually... Yeah, I thought it would be a cutscene. Steering, brake, reverse. Okay. Hold down to boost the lights. You can change the vehicle controls. Is he down? No, he's not. Is he down now? Yeah, great. In the options menu, I don't want to. Can I get out of the vehicle? If I want, if I maybe see a... Uh, this is not the way to go. But maybe a manuscript will be here. Oh, a thermos. And I can just get out. Okay. So maybe I will find it here. Pick it up. Great. No manuscripts. No, nothing. Well, this could take a while if I can just go around and... 
Good thing I know how to drive. Hmm. Okay, let's just move on. Maybe I'll find it somewhere. No, there doesn't seem to be anything there. What to do, though? Can I... Do I have help somewhere? Like, the help of the car? Let's just kill him as well. I feel like he'll be... Maybe I couldn't kill him. No, I didn't take the darkness away. Now I did, I feel like. Yeah, he's down. Great. Let's check this car. What's here? Should I be doing this? <laughs> I mean, I'm able to do this, so maybe I should. Just checking stuff. Oh, no. No, 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 no. It does. Oh, no, there's the battery for the light. You know what? Screw you. I don't need to fight all of you. Ooh, look at this. I can jump. Oh, that was lame. <laughs> I expected, like, a big jump there. What's this? A checkpoint. Let's get out. Checkpoint reached. Hunting rifle. Great. Hmm. Manuscript, maybe? Man, I'm so desperate to find it. But I can't see it anywhere. Could I go inside this? Oh, I can just change my cars. That's crazy. Oh, and it's smoky. Well, that means maybe I should change my car. It doesn't really matter what I drive then. I thought that's just one time thing, you know, that I can just change my cars. Let's go back and see. Oh no, I had to go around. All right. And the dark presence is all around me. Okay, let, let's just go. Screw the manuscript. I will return later if I need to. Where am I supposed to go, though? Well, not here. Can I even? Seems like I can. There it is. I found it. Let's go. Let's just go and pick it up. Man, it's so dark in here. But I found it. Everything's perfect now. Wake's despair. There was no misunderstanding. Cauldron Lake was where Alice and I had stayed. But there was no cabin. And no island. I was missing a week. What had happened to me? What had happened to Alice? I had to get her back. I couldn't face life without her. Okay, so I didn't really get much from this manuscript that I was so desperately looking for. Maybe it's just a little confirmation how much Alan cares about Alice. But that's not, not so important, but fine. I'm happy. I'm happy I went back. Oh, he, he already... Oh, shit. Well, let's, let's just run. No, 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 I'll die, and I'll lose my manuscript as well. Come on, come on, I'm dead. Okay. Well, at least I got, got the page, but I need to go and get it again. So... Should I actually go and get it? Do I have it? Oh, I do have it. I don't have to go and, go and back to get it. Great. So now I can just continue. Amazing. I didn't have it even. Uh, there was no penalty for me dying. It just basically saved me the trouble of battling all of those guys. So that's great. Screw you. Let's just move. He can't do anything to me. I have my manuscript. I don't have to... What was that? Well, I did... Something moved me towards the right side. I don't know what that was. Something on the road, maybe. Checkpoint. And I can go down here. It's down here. Should I? Huh. Well, let's see. Let's see what's here. Maybe I shouldn't, but I have a checkpoint just up there, so... 
Is this just if I... Yeah, that's where the track was with the headlights blinking. So it's just if I decided to go on foot instead of a car. That's fun. I have many options to deal with it. I mean, two options. Let's just go with the car. It's faster and safer. They can't hurt me. Oh, this is where Rusty died. We're back. Great. Uh, which way did I come from? I think this. This is the way, right? Oh yeah, I have a yellow dot there. No way. They blocked my road. Well, because I need to get out of the car. The music stopped. What's that sound? What's going on? Flare gun. Was probably the best weapon I could imagine against the dark things I was facing. I mean, yes. Hmm. Well, let's just move on. Seems like there will be a fight here. Yeah, there is. Let's just drop this. Come on, battery. He's down as well. Burning the darkness away. Will he rush? Yeah, he does. Dodge. This is pretty simple if you... You're just careful. Oh, he's doing it again. Can you just die? Nice. Got 12 ammo from that good thing. I decided to... I decided to just conserve all of everything else and just use my revolver here. He'll charge here, right? Let's throw another flare. I'm betting that my stuff will run out after I continue on my... Oh. <laughs> Ooh, that was a nice, nice dodge there, Alan. Really proud of you. Okay, got all of them. I'm always so stressed that somebody will attack me from behind. Should I check the houses again? I mean, I checked them already. There was this documentary on one of those. And I feel like nothing in the other one. Another call. It was the yep. kidnapper. You son of a bitch! Where's my wife? Enough horseplay, Wake. You deliver the manuscript, and you can have your woman back. Simple as that. How did I he get to her? Listen, listen. I'm gonna need time to finish it. I still need to write the ending. I need a week. It's not done. I need a week. Two days. The old Bright Falls coal mine is nearby. You can find it easy, city boy. The main building there at noon. You bring the manuscript, you'll get your wife. If not, well, uh, get me. Yes, yes, I, I get you. This is a nice, nice little conversation. All right, so, uh, yeah, I didn't mention. So that means that the kidnapper is not a nightingale, right? Because, um, due to the manuscript I found saying that that he was not a friend, he was agent from the FBI. This one doesn't seem like he is, and this is a uh, very... He's talking about me being a city boy. Barry had talked about birds over the phone. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of them. A lot of those. The darkness controls the taken. Yes. Take everything. I mean, I'm so loaded up on ammo. It would be nice if I could keep it. Don't leave me be. Batteries, flare gun. Well, let's just go inside. I am so glad you're here. A couple of them got in here before I blocked the chimney. This isn't normal. These birds are weird. Yeah, they are. Everything's weird here. Well, open up the door. Open. Is he going to just leave me here? Open the door. Bury you, asshole. What are you doing? Defeat the birds. I'm supposed to defeat them. 
How am I supposed to do that? Maybe with a flare gun? No. Well, I'm trying to. Did I? No, I did not kill them. I'm supposed to defeat them. Where are they now? Oh, damn. Damn, how many of them are here? I mean, they're not dealing that much damage, but still. Well, come closer if you're not scared. Fucking birds, what are, what, what, what's this about? Well, it, it seemed like they died. Oh, they did not. Again, it seems like they die. Maybe they don't. Am I supposed to do something crazier here? I mean, they're dying from the light as well. If if when they're ch when they change color, the hey, it just seems like I need to. Okay, interesting. Let's do it like that. I didn't have to. Barry, you can open the door now. They're gone. I wasn't sure if I'm defeating them with the flashlight, but they seem to be falling hey, down. Uh, I'm, I'm it's okay. We won. For thinking you were having a psychotic episode, man. It's fine. I would have as well, probably. I sent Barry to the town to ask around about a man fitting the kidnapper's description. He'd go through the archives of the local paper. Perhaps he could learn something. Anything about the island and the cabin that had disappeared. The man wanted a manuscript. I had to try to write him one to get Alice back. What? <laughs> Can't write, he for me, is. The supernatural had always been nothing but a metaphor for the human psyche, a tool to use in writing fiction. Now it was happening for real, and I couldn't put a single word on paper. Sex. Writer's block. What now? Barry Wheeler speaking. This is Rose. Rose? I found Mr. Wake's pages. Oh, you sweet brilliant She was talking girl. weirdly. We'll be there in less than an hour. See you soon. Why is she talking like that? She's not Have okay. A day. Hope you come back soon. Welcome, Welcome to, to the old dear diner. Oh yeah, she's Good dead. Girl. Seemed weird how she was talking. <laughs> the blank stare. This is Well, I guess this is copyrighted music. Maybe I should, uh, maybe I should mute it or it will get cut again, like always. Yeah, I might cut it away just to be sure. Like muted, I mean, not really cut it away. It's a nice song, though. End of episode two. Nice. There was one like this too uh, before, but I had to cut it out, you know, because of the copyright. But uh, yeah, one more thing I haven't not mentioned. I was just, oh, I can skip this. Previously on Alan Sorry. Wake, Alice has been kidnapped. Alan, please help me. Alice? You'll do exactly what I say if you ever want to see your wife again. I can't tell anyone except my agent, Barry. Damn it, Barry, they'll kill her. You're my best friend, and I'm worried that you're not right in the head. The ransom is a manuscript I supposedly wrote that's coming true before my eyes. It happened. Just the way it was on that page. It's so dark. I have found only a few scattered pages. I want the entire manuscript. The deadline ah. is in two days. I found Mr. Wake's pages. Good girl. Why why does he want them? Who is How the he? How did she get her hands on the manuscript anyway? I don't know. She's resourceful. I told you you were too hard on her. Listen, I found Very out all stupid sorts son of, of a interesting bitch. stuff while I was digging around. You should have noticed she's talking yeah. weirdly. Mr. Wake, it's Sheriff Breaker. We have an FBI oh. agent here, Agent Nightingale. There he FBI. is. He's anxious to see you. You'd better come to the station. Okay, I'll be right over, Sheriff. No, I, I don't think Let's you make will. This quick, huh? 
Help you folks. Name's Randolph. I'm the manager. I'll just stop him there, Sir Randolph. I just wanted to mention before I forget that there was this passage that was this um, part of the game where it was in the past. And somehow I didn't notice that the game just told me it's in New York City three years ago and I was just trying to figure out where was it and when was it. <laughs> but yeah, it was three years ago in New York. I know now. We're looking for Rose. Works as a waitress down at the diner. Rose, sure. Nice girl. Who wants to know? Me. I'm Alan Wake. The writer, huh? I heard on the radio you were visiting. Well, I'll show you her trailer. That Rose, she's a nice girl. Always pays her rent on time. As I was saying, Al, I found all sorts of weird stuff from the local newspaper's archives. This place is crazy. Is it? Disappearances, mysterious deaths, urban legends come true, and get this. Most of this stuff takes place around Cauldron Lake. Well, really? you ain't wrong, mister. The Indians thought the lake was a doorway to the underworld. I'm the God-fearing type myself. I, I don't hold with that sort of thing. Yeah, okay. Anyway, there was an island there owned by a guy called Thomas Oh, we Zane. heard that now, the, it was on the books. Him make him out to be a famous writer. Yeah. But I ran a bunch of searches, couldn't find a single thing he wrote. I found the Zane books. was heavily into diving. So much so oh. that the place came to be called Diver's Isle. But the volcano under the lake erupted in 1970 and Zane went down with the island. Oh, okay. All right, one more thing before they start talking. Uh, the diver on the diver on the pictures we found at the, on the nightmare on, and... Mister. I'll take you to Rose's trail. Yeah, wait, I'm talking. God, Randolph. Chill out. Yeah, the the diver that was on many uh, pictures I found. He was. Just follow me. It's not far. Yeah, he was called on one of the. On one of the posters I found in the nightmares in the cabin there, he was called Tom the Poet. So that's Thomas Zane in the. Listen, I got things to do. This place don't run itself. Well, and what if I just keep running around here and not follow you? You'll just leave me. I doubt that. You're programmed another way. I'm just looking for some thermoses on maybe manuscripts. You know, chill out. All right, sorry, Randolph. I'm done. Coming after you. Oh, give me a break, Mister. Can we just get a move on? Yeah, we can. Oh, what's with your leg? Poor guy. Hate seeing people being hurt. I mean, not not really being hurt, but hurting. I mean, being hurt as well. <laughs> it's just if I see him walk like this, I get a weird feeling in my leg. Like, ah. Uh. He wouldn't be walking like this if it didn't hurt like a bitch. Hmm. Well, there's a boat. What? Yeah, how about that? It was there in the morning, as if it had fallen from the sky. Oh, wow. But it would take a tornado to lift something like that. We're damn lucky it didn't crush you any are. of the trailers. Like the plane. And the plane looked old as well. And it just fell down. Okay. That's another mystery. Randy's dogs. Didn't Stucky talk about some dogs? Are these the ones? Man, I'd get a hot dog. Hot dog. Great. Granny Claus Chem Chowder. Hate when uh, stuff is called with some fancy names in restaurants and you just can't understand what the hell is inside of it. I don't understand why people think that's a good business idea to just... It gets better. A local girl... Barbara Jagger okay. drowned in Cauldron Lake just a week earlier. They were lovers. Sure, Jagger's a local spook story. The scratching hag comes for you in the dark. Childish stuff like that. Huh. Anyway, Al, I'm just getting to the best part. All of the articles about this stuff were written by Cynthia Weaver. Who's that? I asked around, and she's that crazy bag lady you met. What, the lamp lady? She can be a little loopy, but she's not homeless or anything. Yeah, anyway, she knew both Jagger and Zane before they okay. both died, and she had some kind of a breakdown. Well, that seems like a good lead. Yeah, another thing. there was So, Thomas Zane and Barbara 
Barbara Jagger. But there was on the trunk there, there was E plus B, right? So B could be the Barbara girl. But who's E then? Well, I'm sure we'll find out. Maybe I read the E wrong and it was T, but I don't think so. It seemed like an E. Alright. I, I was just... Uh... There, there's a lot of games when characters are talking and you move forward too quickly and the conversation gets cut, so I, I kind of got used to just standing still while they talk, so I don't risk the conversation being cut off. Well, mister, this here's Rose's trailer. You mind me asking what you want with her? We're just here to talk to her, pal. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so that's why I'm standing, and in this game it seems like they thought about that, and they're actually... I can't even run, I can't move faster, so maybe I could just move forward and listen to the conversation while walking. But still, just to be safe, I don't want to do that. Well, let's go and talk to Rose then. Knock. Oh, she's there. She's right behind the door. Just looking at me creepily. Welcome to... Oh, no. To... Oh, dear. Mr. Wake. I'm... I'm so glad you're here. Rose, you have... Yeah, nothing's wrong here. Oh. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes. Please, come in. Okay. Well, let's watch this. <laughs> hey, this is really good. Well, she's good at making coffee, isn't Rose. she? Rose. Yes. My manuscript. I really need it. I understand. I know what you need. A muse to inspire you. Oh, for Barry? She doesn't have anything. Yeah. Uh, hey, Al. Al, what's... Oh. What? She dragged the coffee? What? Did Alan drink it? What? Oh, shit, he did. How did they not notice that she's weird? I mean, she's obviously totally out of it I wouldn't have drank anything out of the uh, I mean anything she offers me it's coming for you hiding in my barber's skin I'm too weak to stop it you must turn the lights on I promised I is she Barbara and your lovely wife and the light you is Thomas finish what you started I insist you must turn the lights on. Okay. Turn the light on. Yeah, okay. <gasps> Who's that? <laughs> wow, there was some quick refle reflexes there, Alan. Great job. You turned the lights on right away. I felt nauseous, hung over. Only anger kept me going. I can't tell reality from dream anymore, but it seems I have an imaginary editor to help me. She's an old woman in a funeral dress. I call her Barbara Jack. Yeah, that's her. She's very strict. I I'm writing faster and faster. My manuscript is being heavily revised. The edits are getting very aggressive, and each day there's less of me and more of her. I hate it, but I know she's right. What? She promises me I can save Alice this way. She knows more of this than I do about the complex incantation I'm attempting, about this place. She's worked with another writer under similar circumstances, Thomas Zane. Oh. The genre of the story seems to be shifting. It's turning into a horror story. I'm getting close. I can feel it. <laughs> this is so cool. I love the premise of this. Everything about this is so cool. Alan Wake. Oh my God. She has a shrine for me and everything. Man, the actor... The actor playing Alan Wake, like the real dude there on the cutouts and everything. That's a handsome guy there. Okay. Well. Let's just try and leave. Oh, Barry. Hello, Barry. Rose took a day for me. I had less than 12 hours left to meet the kidnapper. All I could do was get Barry into the car, work something out once I got on the road. Okay, what, what was all of this about? What what did they gain? Welcome to the Oh Dear Diner. What can I get you today? Coffee? Yeah. I couldn't work up much hate for Rose. Something had used her to get to me and left its mark. Yeah. 
first refill is free. Oh my god. Milk and sugar on Will the she be fine? There. Would you like to hear today's specials? Sure, tell me Thank about them. Oh, no. A nice day. Come back soon. These look pretty clean though. Okay, uh Barry. Barry was out of it. He was way too heavy to carry. <laughs> You're right. I deserve more money. I'm so handsome. I <laughs> mean this this game is I, I actually thought this would be just just the horror story and thriller and suspense and everything, but this game is pretty entertaining in a my gun and flashlight were gone. I'd have to find a way to get Barry into the car as quickly as possible. There was no time to waste. Oh. Randolph calls the police. Mr. Randolph liked Rose. That little smile she had. How she was still sweet when life had tried so hard to make her bitter. It wasn't any of his business what she did in her trailer. But those strangers, the writer and his smart-ass sidekick, looked like trouble. And they'd been in there for hours. Way past her normal bedtime. He reached for the phone and oh, nice. the station. So Sheriff's on her way. That would be that would be great. Maybe with the FBI agent as well. Uh, even though he seems like an enemy to us, so I don't know. Smartest sidekick. Well. So are we going to fight through this area? Should I explore again? Since the manuscript was added on the ground there, maybe there are more things to find. And it's dark, so... Shit. Well, let's listen to the radio. I just stepped outside to catch a breath of fresh air. Let me tell you, the weather's getting heavy. Nights like this make me especially glad I'm here talking to you and not home in bed. Once, once the weather takes a turn like this, I can't sleep at all. It's all tangled bed sheets and dark thoughts punctuated by the occasional plunge into nightmare <laughs> is it just me well perhaps it is so everybody has nightmares here a bit easier to get through caller you're on kbf fm hey Pat, it's walt snyder well i don't know about mind, walt? walt snyder do well, i Well, you sound like a man with a problem, Walt. Yeah. 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 Uh, I had a, uh, you know, uh, argument with Danny. You know, Danny and... Oh, uh, Walter. Is that the dude in the jail? You know, in the holding cell, right? Uh, just, well, yeah, and he beat like Danny. That. That's why he was there. Yeah, aliens. I was just outside looking up at the sky above our broadcast tower thinking the same thing. What are you waiting for, Walt? Aliens? I don't know. I, you know, something's gonna happen. If that's him, you I think it, it must be him. I, I think I better go. Well, Walt, uh, maybe... No, th thanks, Pat. Uh, well, good luck to you, Walt. Hang in there. Uh, let's take a little break, folks. This weather's really something else, huh? Oh my god, that was a song, man, that, that scared me. I thought she's being, he's being attacked by the dark lady or whatever. Oh, I can call her Barbara now. Since I know her name. Oh, that's Randolph. Oh, sorry. Let's just check behind here, maybe for a manuscript page. Doesn't seem like uh, too big of an area to to have many fights here. Maybe I'm actually just supposed to leave. Yeah. Oh, you're gonna get it now. <laughs> you're gonna get it now. God knows what you've done to that poor girl. Nothing. This is Agent Nightingale, FBI. Get him up, Hemingway. You're under arrest. You move a muscle, I'll unload right in your goddamn what? face. Stay right where you are, 
did he actually shoot the Randolph dude? Oh my god, well he took a risk there. Still, we, we read about this in the previous chapter. What are, I'm standing right here, you goddamn maniac! Oh, well, that's true. Agent Nightingale. Well, he seems I like an asshole. Barry behind, but there was no way I'd miss my appointment with the kidnapper. Give it up, Mr. Wake. Come on. Take it easy, Don't let him get away. Well, let's escape. Let's run, even though uh, Wake has a problem with keeping his breath steady. See, he's already tired. How can you escape poli police? Well, where to go? Move out. I mean, there's only one way. They're having cars, helicopters. I mean, what, what do they think I did? I mean, what's their proof? He, or he just started shooting at me. Shit. No, I won't. Why didn't they shoot like Agent Nightingale? Oh, Damn. Where should I go? Do I just go forward? I don't want to fight them. I <laughs> I it feels like I should be doing something else than just moving uh, ahead at this low running pace, but seems to be working for me so I'm not going to stop <laughs> I really can't from this running animation it's so silly I mean he's a writer he's not a runner so of course he's tired but he's just he just runs so funnily I see a page there Checkpoint reached. Alright, you know what? Escape the police. Yeah, and the darkness is here. Okay, you know what? I need to go. Unfortunately. So I have to cut it here. Cut it short. But yeah, next time I'm going to continue escaping the police. Uh, FBI agent Nightingale. Police led by the volatile. Yeah, he is volatile for sure. Okay, uh, so what did I do? How, how did that? Oh, yeah, I fought the birds. I uh, Barry's on my side now. We went to Rose. We have a meeting with the with the kidnapper, and we don't have the manuscript though, so I don't know how how is that going to work out. But we're going to meet him anyway. Maybe, uh, maybe try and beg him for extending my deadline. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, next time I'm going to continue escaping and see where this goes. So thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it and take care. Bye.